Well, I guess we're going to do the Facebook Live the good old-fashioned way here. I don't know what's going on. But, um, yeah, I went into Switcher. I was having troubles yesterday after the um, catalog walkthrough, and all of a sudden things disappeared and weren't transferring over properly. And now it says my storage is full, which I went through and deleted a lot of things that I didn't need. But apparently it's still full. I don't know. Don't understand. Okay, so let's just do this the old-fashioned way, the Facebook Live. Um, and so at least we'll get something done here. Because I'm excited about this card. So Dragonfly Garden. Today we're going to be playing around with Mint Macaron. Beautiful green color. And um, it's kind of like, it reminds me of um, a little bit of the, well... Maybe Bermuda, more Bermuda Bay, but kind of like the water in the mountains. It's very kind of tealy green, cool green. Sometimes in the summer, when the sun's hitting it just right, it's just an absolute stunning color. And um, so I'm excited to use this color. It's it's kind of got a gray undertone, which I always love. I'm not, I don't know. I think anything that's got blues and in it just feels right for me if you will um all right we're gonna play around with the ornate garden no ornate garden yes dsp which is retiring and it's now only eight dollars it was regular 20 but it's on sale for eight dollars that is amazing deal this is great dsp i am down to the bare minimums but i knew this had the mint paper in it um, instead of using basic white today, I think I'm going to play around with very vanilla. I think it's a little bit softer and add a hit of flirty flamingo. This card, by the way, was kind of influenced by Tennille Williams. I'm going to be changing it up a little bit, but kind of using her style and um, kind of her layout idea. Also, I used Dainty Diamonds, which is also retiring the embossing folder, um, just to add a little interest if you will some design on some of the paper so i think that's all the info i need to share right away let's get stamping so first off let's stamp the big pardon me i think i hope this is clean <laughs> We're going to stamp this flowered image. Now, if you buy the stamp set, you really, really want to get the block I. Um, the block H is just a little too small. So you want to make sure that you get your whole entire flower, you know, covered well. Um, so just, just go and buy it. Treat yourself. All right, so I'm going to use mint macaron on mint macaron. Um, mint macaron ink. And so I'm going to start off kind of down in the corner for this image. And then we're going to build our way up kind of to the top there. So kind of making it get taller and taller as we go. So I can't see your comments, but I trust that you are sharing. Chit chat, I will go back and check later what all you have to say, which is awesome. All right, so there's my mint macaron on mint macaron. And then what I'm gonna do, just to kind of blend this bottom portion, is I've got my blend, uh, no, dauber, mint macaron dauber. I'm just gonna dip it in that ink and I'm gonna actually just kind of darken it a little bit. Same thing, kind of just on the angle. Focusing the most, you know, making it the most dark in this corner. Just, I don't know. Kind of helps blend it a little bit. Then you don't see kind of the overlap and whatnot here. Okay, I'll just rub some off and let's just kind of go a little bit into the upper parts. Okay, now I think, I'm not sure what she did, but I had this idea to, I don't have the chalk marker, but I thought, oh, 
I do have the white watercolor pencil and I'm just going to go in on the tips of those flowers just kind of make them stand out a little bit with the white watercolor pencil. Ooh, I like it. I did try the other day, remember, I tried using the Color Lifter Stampin' Blend and it just didn't, didn't quite do it, do anything kind of how I wanted. So this is a good alternative, getting out your white watercolor pencil. Cute. And they just, you know, kind of stand out a little nicer, which is great. Okay, so next for stamping, we're just going to set this aside for a minute. Next, I want to stamp a dragonfly onto a piece of very vanilla. And I'm using the one with the body that's solid. Once again, I'm going to color it in mint macaron. And if you haven't noticed the other videos, I've always suggested that you put the tail, bottom of the tail, closest to the bottom of your paper. It just helps when you use the punch so that you don't have to go cutting off any paper or fiddling around there trying to get um, the um, paper to go in the punch. All right, and now I've got my Flirty Flamingo um, Stampin' Blends, which I'm going to color the darkest closest to the dragonfly body. And I think I love these two colors together. Flirty Flamingo and Mint Macaron. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. So yes, your demonstrator friends have all had a chance to look at the brand new catalog. So lots of changes. Um, I did do a walkthrough of the catalog, which, like I said, was not cooperating yesterday. So um, it is currently uploading on my laptop in a different way. <laughs> so hopefully that will be on my YouTube channel later on so that you can go through your catalog along with me and mark up the things that are retiring and the things that are on sale. Like I said, that Ornate Garden Paper DSP. Oh! Stunning, gorgeous, and it's now only eight dollars. That's craziness. But I was very, very, very sad to see other things um, going. I think I want Winka Stella. Does that make sense? <laughs> Winka Stella goes on these dragonfly wings. I, I think this is a must. If you buy this um, bundle, you need to have Winka Stella for those wings. Just throw it in your cart, you know. And then when you get to the checkout, you'll forget you even put it in there. <laughs> that way, that, that's my maybe a good idea with, you know, chocolate in the shopping cart. I don't <laughs> Throw it in when you see it and kind of ignore it. <laughs> Walk away. All right, so there is my beautiful dragonfly. I'm going to stick this in the punch, which punches it out so perfectly and so quickly and easily just like so. And there I have a little dragonfly if I ever want to use that on something. I haven't really used the little guy yet, have I? Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's set that aside, set that aside. This, I want to stamp the sentiment. Thank you for your, thank you. Actually, I didn't want to use for your kindness. I just wanted to do thank you. Um, so let's mask off. Where's my little, um, I just want to mask off the For Your Kindness with a sticky note. I think this will be easy, like so. So you can use washi tape, you can use masking tape, you can use little sticky notes, whatever. So mask off the part you don't want to be inked. Oh, should I use, I guess we'll use mint macaron for this. Now, hopefully that's going to stick for me. I know I have a feeling there is um, Versamark on here, which actually should make it stick even nicer. Okay, so now we're inking this up with the sticky note on. Then you're going to take this off. And oh, 
looks well. I don't have it anywhere that I don't want it. And I'm going to place this onto my little strip of very vanilla. Voila! And all I have is thank you. Perfect. Okay, let me get my scissors now. And I'm actually going to do a little ribbon cut at the end here. Now, I'm not saying measurements because, to be honest, I forget what they are. <laughs> so this will be the measurements, the pictures, the um, coordinating colors that go with mint macaron will be all on my blog later on today. I was working on it, getting it ready before I went live. I think that works. Yes. Now did. Okay. So I wanted this just a tad shorter. So your flirty flamingo layer is going to be just a little bit shorter than the Oh no, this can stay as a as a rectangle. Okay. Um and I think we are ready to roll by putting this all together. Easy peasy. Here's our mint macaron card base. And I've got a layer of very vanilla that's just going to be a little teeny uh, show through just a little bit um, underneath. Um, I probably could have done my dragonfly out of the middle of there and no one would have known, would they? All right, let's put on our stamp and seal. on our very vanilla layer. Next I'm going to be putting on this mint macaron layer that's um, just a little bit smaller and I've embossed it with the embossing folder called Dainty Diamonds. Now since this is bumpy I'm going to use my liquid glue just to make sure it gets in all those little crevices. This Dainty Diamonds folder is retiring, so um, this is one I use quite often, as is the Settles Embossing Folder. I can't believe it. Oh, I love that thing. I use it all the time and it makes the paper look like fabric. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually just put this little layer of DSP just kind of peeking under this layer here, our, our flower layer, if you will. So let's run a strip of the seal there and lay this over top. Now Tennille did a little layer of ribbon, but I didn't have any mint macaron ribbon or anything that would kind of work with this. So I thought, well, you know, DSP is gorgeous and it has lots of, you know, pizzazz to it. Let's use that. All right, so next I'm going to actually put on this very vanilla lace. I think it'll look just gorgeous. So um, on the back sides of this, I'm gonna put two little stripes of my stamp and seal. And then let's lay this down. So I just lay it where I want it and then tuck it behind. I can cut off like so. She also put a little bow over here. She used actually white twine, but I kind of wanted to use, I don't, I didn't want to mix white and very vanilla. So I thought, oh, this gorgeous lace would be pretty. So we'll see about, about the bow business. Well, I don't, I'm not sure yet. Okay. So our next layer is going to be this one, like so. Actually, I'm going to put it right along the bottom. So um, I think I'm going to use dimensionals actually because since this ribbon is here it might be a little bit bumpy and I don't want it to uh, go a little funny there. That'll also help hold that ribbon down just a tad there if we use dimensionals. Okay, so I'm going to line this up with the bottom of that layer, mint macaron layer, the flower layer like so. And then this, I'm just going to place on top like so. Oops, now I've got, since I have 
glue on the back that's not uh, not cooperating. I'm just placing that in the middle. And then the last step here is to place this. Now she had the the dragonfly kind of right here, but I kind of I don't know, I need something here, don't I? So let's maybe like this. It's flying up the flowers. Yeah, why not? All right, so I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of our dragonfly to pop it up as well. Come. Oh my goodness, I love that wink of Stella there. So pretty. I wonder if this is gonna go. That guy may go there. We'll see, we'll see. Let me put them all together. Thinking yes to a bow right there. Let's see. Maybe we'll put it all together and then we'll decide. It's one of those things that you can kind of decide last minute. All right, let's place this right over top this embossed layer. So we're showing through some little bumps at the top from that embossing and bumps down here, but it's the same color, which makes everything kind of transition really nicely. I'm loving the little hits of white here on the flower heads there. So pretty. And then let's see, let's tie up a little bow and see what we think with this ribbon. Turny, turny. Another thing that is retiring, which I nearly had, well, there's, there's, how many, th I think there's about five things, four things that I nearly cried for, about. Um, first one, Buffalo Check is retiring. Oh, my Lanta. <sighs> Buffalo Check. Love it. You know that I love it. But I guess other people don't love it <laughs> as much as I love it. Also, Beautiful Friendship. That is my go-to stamp set for the like most beautiful phrases and, and sentiments. I think it's just wonderful. Um, okay, let's try and move this tail downward. Maybe it doesn't have to be so long. Also, the Subtles Embossing Folder, like I said earlier, that I use so much right there. Mm. Goodness, I don't know. Yeah, let's do it. Did I say the stitched shapes? Stitch shape dies. Oh, love those things. That, that's my go to die set. I don't know. All right, and I think this just needs some champagne rhinestones to finish it off. I think. Yeah, let's, or is it pearls? Ooh, maybe pearls. Those might just be a little more subtle. Oh, all I have are the big guys. Well, that'll work. Okay, let's go. Hmm. Maybe we'll put three in a row. Oh, I forgot to do my um, sharing of the cards. Your amazing cards that you sent me. I kept remembering, oh man, remembering, and I went to go get them, and then next thing you know, I forget. Sorry, depression and fibro brain frustrating I tell you so there is our mint macaron card I hope you can see I hope you've been able to see this whole entire time oh yo yo anyways I just really liked how how it was like this um, she also did stitching along here the colors she actually used were misty moonlight and the probably I'm gonna say calypso coral 
and it was stunning. But I knew that mint macaron would work so nicely with this and the flirty, I love that combo. And then the softness of the berry vanilla, I think it's so pretty. And I love that you can mask off what you want in sentiments and just use what you want. And I love the highlighting done with the um, watercolor white pencil, the Wink of Stella on the leaves of, or the wings of course, and that beautiful hit of gold right there in the beautiful Ornate Garden DSP, which is on sale for $8. <sighs> so if you are interested in purchasing any of these items, I would be awfully thankful. Um, you can go to my website, which is theartsyfartsygallery.com and press the shop button, or you can go directly to my online store, which is Jen with two N's, Houston like the city, dot stampin' up dot net. Um, and then I have a host code, which is, let me write it out for you. My host code for the month is W X four X six. No, uh oh, I know it in typing, but I don't know this one. T, T six. Oh dear, is it T six six? I know my fingers know what in typing, but I guess to, to say it W X four. I thought there were. Mm. Anyways, I will have it somewhere in the uh, comments or something. I thought there were six. T X six six. Oh, brother. I will have it in the comments and uh, then we'll know for sure what it is. All right, everyone. I hope you have a really good day. Um, write in the comments which green you would like to see tomorrow. The ones that are left are pear pizzazz, garden green, or just jade. And so the person that comments first, we're going to do that one. So pear pizzazz, garden green, or just jade. And I look forward to hopefully seeing you and your comments <laughs> a little better tomorrow. Have a good night, everyone.